Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how to fix issues where your iPhone widgets are not working. This should ex by extension work also for um, iPods in some cases right? and other Apple devices. So in case your widgets are not functioning as they should, this could include um, issues such as they are not um, showing up, they are not showing the correct information, or in general, they are just blank. They refuse to load or function in any way. So if you're having any bugs or so on, where the functionality is being affected, and so you're not getting the data that should be displayed, or of course, as I said, they're blank or they're just not showing up, this tutorial will show you to solve many of the issues where your widgets are not working, all right? So let's get straight into what you can do. Now, one of the first things you should do if your widgets are not working correctly, is to go ahead and do a reboot. So go ahead and hold power, volume down. Once you do, slide the power off. And of course, it should fix the problem. If that doesn't work, guys, next thing to do is to check for um, stability updates. And of course, to do that, simply go to settings. Once you're in settings, go to general. Once you're in general, go to software update, check for updates, and make sure that you're on the latest version of um, iOS. All right, so once you make sure that you're updated, you should be good. Next, you're going to check location services. Some um, apps rely on location services. So go to settings. On certain settings, um, guys, you're going to go and go to. All right, so you're going to go to settings. On certain settings, guys, you're going to go over to um, the option that says privacy down here. On certain privacy, you're going to go to location services. Make sure location services on. And of course, make sure all the appropriate apps that are on your device especially if it's related to um, the, so uh, make sure it has the proper um, permissions, especially if it's related to a particular app. For example, let me show you one here. If we scroll down, we'll notice right here that weather, which is a widget, is um, calling on location services because in most cases, your weather widget would need to know your location. So in other words, it can give you the latest updates as it relates to the weather and of course you will need to go ahead and for weather make sure that you give it the appropriate permissions so it gives you um, like for right now i have it um hello location access and i have it set to mine to while using the app or widget see notice and once i have that for the app or the widget for me that is enough now of course um, you can mess around to see but the idea is to give it the appropriate um the appropriate the appropriate permission so for most cases you should um be able to get away with this um, option here that's otherwise using the app or widget which should be selected so make sure that for the particular app that you're having the problem with the especially if it requires um location data to make sure it's set also it might also require a precise location. Sometimes maybe if you have disabled precise location as well, that could affect it. So make sure those are on. Next guys, you're gonna check your language. So make sure um, you're in settings and you're gonna scroll down. You're gonna go to general. And of course, um, you're gonna look around here. You notice it says um, language and region. You're gonna make sure that you have the correct um language or region selected now of course um you'll see several options such as iphone language you'll see region and language would determine your language would determine a lot of stuff so for example make sure that you're using an appropriate language for example um is for example us english or um you would have um what's that um US English or um, UK English, depending on your country. So make sure uh, appropriate um, language is selected. It can affect some of the apps and their functionality, especially your widgets. Also, make sure that your region is um, correctly selected or in some cases, you might find that that's the issue. So usually the iPhone language and region is the issue. So make sure that you have an appropriate um, region and language selected which should solve another set of problems with the apps updating as sometimes depending on which region you might have clashes and the apps will not function as a result of that 
Next, make sure background app refresh is on. All right, so you're gonna make sure um, background app refresh is on. So go to general. You're gonna search for um, background app refresh, which is right here. Notice mine is on, make sure it's on. And of course, this is our app's ability to pull um, data in the background. Um, if you're not getting notifications or proper um, apps are not updating, for example, you might um, have with a weather widget, you might find that the latest flash flood warnings or whatever it is, or maybe general warnings are not coming because you have this turned off. So what you want to do is to make sure that it's on, especially um, in my case, I'm have it on Wi-Fi. For you, you might want to um, modify this a bit for both data, depending on um, how your usage. But for me, Wi-Fi is enough. For you, you might want to have your mobile data on Wi-Fi. Next, make sure all of these are on, especially for stuff related to your weather. Notice for weather widget, um, if I turn it off, you'll not get appropriate um, updates and that can be an issue. So make sure you go through and find anything related to your widgets and make sure they're on. And if you do that, you should be good for the most part. All right, next, if you are having um, battery, like for example, issues with your battery um, indicators not working, um, you have various sizes. There are three sizes. There's the large, medium, and um, small. This is the small. If you're not seeing um, appropriate icons, make sure that you're using the right size and also make sure that the devices or accessories connected by Bluetooth. So for example, I have an Apple Watch. It should show up on the battery widget, especially the larger ones. Um, if I have um, your um, earpods and so on, they'll show up. Just make sure they're connected by Bluetooth. If not, they don't show up unless they're connected by Bluetooth. So make sure they're on and connected. And as a result, what should happen is that they'll show up on the appropriate widget. Guys, let's say, for example, you have um, a widget issue. Let me just add a widget. Make sure that make sure that the widget itself, if you're having issues, um, let's say this clock one was a problem, as you can see here. Um, in general, you might have issues such as the time is wrong or something like that. Go ahead and remove the widget. And go ahead and um, simply add the widget once more or find the widget again. Um, by removing the widget sometimes and refreshing, it should help. Um, sometimes by just removing it, it refreshes. If that doesn't work, guys. Another thing I've found is to check the settings for the widget itself. So how do you check the, wid the widget setting itself? Um, you can do several things. In most cases, go ahead and long press. Then, of course, you'll see several options. Go ahead and hit edit widget. Go ahead and hit edit widget. Once you edit widget here, for example, here I notice this is on Cupertino. So this would be um, wrong. I can always go in and modify and select my correct era. And, of course, let's see, for example, if I um, choose, let's say Washington, D.C., I exit. No city will switch to Washington DC. Now, of course, this is just a general example. Some will have different settings, but most cases, for example, with the um, weather widget, if I had done that, I should be able to choose which area I want to see the widget um, weather for. This can be great for fixing issues where it's displaying incorrectly or in cases where I want it to show another region. So you can also fix or um, customize something for um, our widget. The way I want it to work so you can use that to your advantage in some cases you can fix bugs and get the widget working as you would like um, remember you can also tap on them too sometimes when you go in here it might help with um, settings related to the particular widget all right so I've covered all the major things you can do to fix issues with widgets if you do all of those guys any problems um, should be fixed such as widgets not loading not showing or whatever um, the Problems are various. If you have any questions pertaining to widgets and how um, these tutorials help you or not, you can place the comments below. I'll try to directly assist. All right, guys, Ricardo Garner from Block Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.